looks like hey, that's, that's a great idea. <laughs> this week, Donald Trump uh, gets inaugurated as president of the United States. Um, I have mixed feelings about this. Um, when Years ago, when I was in real estate, I read all of his books, and uh, including The Art of the Deal, which of course he never wrote. Apparently, it was a ghostwriter who wrote it. And uh, I always thought that he was um, one of what you needed to be to be a good real estate guy. You know, he's hard nosed and um, he's you know, the deal maker and he's going to get the best deal and he's tough. Um, but I always knew he was kind of crazy, you know, maybe. So when I heard he was running for president, I thought, eh, you know, this will be entertaining. I can't wait to see what Jon Stewart and Stephen Colbert has to do or has to say about this. I never thought in a million years he would actually win, but here we are. He won, and now he is going to be president. I have not been very impressed with his cabinet choices and uh, and his rhetoric over the last couple of years during the campaign. Uh, he's actually very scary. Um, everyone tells me, "Oh, give the guy a chance." You know, he's a brilliant businessman and. He might be a businessman, but do we need a businessman to run our country? Is that what we are? Is the world a business? It reminds me of um, a very famous movie called Network. It came out in the 1970s. Um, back when I was in high school, I actually was in a play where I played Albert Beale, which is the main character of the story. And uh, I did a monologue and I absolutely loved it. it. Went on about television and how television was bad for for you and you should turn it off and actually go read books. Um, but that was not the monologue I really wanted to do. There was another monologue in the movie about business, the world being a business. And in this monologue, they take our Beal into a conference room and his boss goes and shuts the blinds and starts railing at him, yelling at him, the world is a business, Mr. Beale. You know, it has been since men crawled out of the slime. It, it's a fast, I, you should look it up on YouTube. It's really, really good. He starts talking about how there are no such thing as countries and nations and peoples. There is only money and the ebb and flow of money from this place to the next place and back and that is what determines, quote, determines the vitality of life on this planet. And how con or companies like AT&T and Exxon and Union Carbide are the nations of today. Also in the monologue, he talks about how nations don't talk about ideologies and theories anymore. They, they compute the, the returns of their investments just like we do. And it got me thinking, there was a great book by Thomas Friedman I read back when I was in school, uh, The World is Flat. It's actually uh, my favorite book of all time. Uh, that's the book that I, when I read it, it kind of scared me, you know. It used to be in America, you know, you could get a college degree, get a good job, and then you're fine for life. We're no longer competing with the guy down the street and the people within our cities. But now, because the world is flat, I'm, we're competing with all 1.3 billion Chinese engineers and, and businessmen. We're competing against everyone in the world who has um, a cell phone and an internet connection as far as education goes. Is that true? Is the world a business? And having a businessman run it, is that good for business? Is that good for the world? I don't know. I do know that there's many more things other than business that a president and a government has to take into account. Not everyone is in business in America. There are a lot of workers. There are a lot of people who are retired. There are students, children. We have to watch out for those people too. So. Donald Trump becoming president might be good for business. I'll wait to find that out. But that's just one aspect of what makes a country. I am concerned about the rest of it. In the words of Dennis Miller, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. <laughs>